going on guys? So today we're going to work on the Lowrider ST again. We're going to change out this 117 scoop that comes stock with the bike. Hit my knee on it all the time. Same thing with the Rogue Glide ST. I've done it on the Rogue Glide. I've done it on my Heritage and I'm going to do it on this thing. I just, it bugs me. It's in the way I don't like it. And what I've gone with is the Vance and Hines V02 America edition right here, which yes, I've done it on all my bikes, but I'm a veteran. It's subdued black. I like it. So one thing you want to make sure is that it does not come with a sock. So you want to make sure you get this sock part. I got these from Revzilla. And so make sure you have that because if it rains, uh, you want to make sure you can cover that up so nothing gets in there. Uh, it comes with, like I said, that, and then it comes with a pack of all the bolts that you need, breather bolts and everything else. And just to give you an idea, this sticks out around seven inches from the side. When I get it on, it's going to be about four, and I'll show you uh, when it's all done. But I got things kind of laid out. I'm going to get it all turned around, get some light on it, and then we'll get started. So. See you in a minute. All right, so we got everything all turned around. Got some light on here, so hopefully you can see it good. I know it's a lot of black parts, but basically it comes with filter, the back plate that's gonna replace there. Of course, the cool, sexy Merica. You got a couple new breather tubes that go in there. You get a new gasket that you put on, and then the little pinions that go on there to hold it back against there for that. And then of course the bolts to put it all on. So if you undo these two bolts, all that does is flip this open. There's a hinge on the back and that allows you to change the filter. So we don't need to worry about that. So what we do want to do is we want to take out these three bolts right here and you want to have a long extension on there. And that's a 3 16 hex bit. So you want a long extension to keep everything away from it. And pull it off. Comes off all one piece just like that. Set that aside. All right, so the next thing you guys, you got these bolts here that are gonna be replaced by your breather bolts. All right, so they give you new breather bolts that come in. Notice the Loctite's on there. They fit in there, these are T45s. So you've got these three, three bolts here that need to come out. And those are 530 seconds. So we take those out. Once you get them loose, there's threads on there, they'll stay in there, so you don't need to necessarily pull them out. Then we take the T45 and you loosen up, get ready to pull out these bolts here, which are gonna be where your breather bolts go. Once those are out, you just rock it and pull off this piece and it all comes out one piece. You can see how these sit in there and hold on. You won't be using this again. Set that aside. All right, so now you have this all exposed. You can see your wiring, stuff like that. This piece is gonna go right here. Oops. It's gonna go right here and these three notches are gonna use these 7 16th bolts to screw into here to hold them in, right? Clean out any oil that's in there, just since you're in there. All right, now we got those in. Now what we're gonna do is put on your gasket. You can see it only goes one way. So it's like that, it's got the little notch. And then you take your 7 16th bolts, put those little guys in, get them started. You don't have to put any sealant or anything on this. It's just a pressure hold. Run those down as far as you can, you think, to where you can put and slide this cover over. Make sure you have your breather tubes inserted the way they go before you put it on because trying to get them on afterwards is a pain. And then you just turn that like that once they're on and start tightening up the bolts.
Okay, once that's all on there nice and secure, connect your breather tubes. Make sure they're pushed down all the way. Check your holes here to make sure there's no kink in the tube and that you got this sticking down pretty well. And that way there's no chance that's gonna fly out of there. And at that point, we're ready to put the front piece on. So the way these go is you got these little pinions, right? They go here. There's a nut that goes behind it and this long bolt goes through it and that goes and pinches all this on. So the filter sits on there and creates a seal, right? But the one thing you wanna make sure is there's this chrome strip right here. You wanna make sure that when you put this on, right, that that is hidden. So that way you don't see that chrome strip, right? All right, so when you tighten this down, the seal is gonna put a, this filter is gonna press on there and this is gonna compress and give you a good seal. So again, put this down towards the bottom, pop it on there. I like to put mine a little off to the side like that just so it's out of the way. Take your cool, sexy America, make sure you got the writing up the right way and all that stuff. So it shows like it's supposed to. Then you take one of these pinions, you got a fat side and a thin side. The fat side goes towards the back. So here's where you gotta get kind of tricky. So you gotta hold that. Take one of these guys with your Loctite on it. Pop that through. Sorry, I'm blocking with my hand, but and then take these little black nuts, put them on the back. And then what I do is I kind of push on it to get it started because it'll compress that filter a little bit. So now you got that one kind of hand started, it holds everything in place for you. And then you just do the same thing all, do the same thing all the way around. Now I've got them all started. So like I said before, it's a 7 16 on the back. Just take your ratchet with your 5 16 12 point. Take your 7 16 put it on the nut. Snug them down. I like to do a cross corner, so it puts a good seal on that. And that's it. It's on, it's connected, looks good. So now, if we take a look at the measurement before, remember it was seven inches. So we're gonna take this guy from the same point on the block that I had it, and this is now four inches. So it cut three inches off of the girth, if you will, coming out this way. You don't need to do anything like with a special tune because this already had a high flow filter on it. So it's the same thing there and it's good to go. So other than that, that's about it. I'll show some pictures, a comparison left and right of the two. And you can see what it looks like with one with the scoop on and then one next to it with the new Vance and Heinz on there. And then I'll take a picture of the measurement so you can see what those look like just to show. But that's it, pretty easy. Uh, done several of these, so simple, easy to go, well worth it, and looks really nice. So like, subscribe, leave your comments, feedback, love hearing it, and uh, see you on the next one.